Ladies and gentlemen, I have an update on the Tyree Nichols case. As you know, the officers, they are going to trial and one has taken a plea deal. So Memphis police officer charged in Tyree Nichols' death to change plea in federal case. Now he could be turning on the others and that's why a plea deal has been offered to him. And apparently he's taking it. One of the former Memphis police officers indicted in the federal and state levels in connection with the beating death of Tyree Nichols will change his plea in federal court after pleading not guilty in September, according to a new court filing. Desmond Mills Jr. Okay, y'all remember him, right? This is the one right here, Desmond Mills Jr. And four other officers were charged with excessive force, deliberate indifference, conspiracy to witness tamper, and obstruction of justice, according to an indictment unsealed on September 12th. Mills will be the first of the criminally charged to change their plea after Thursday's hearing. In January, Tyree Nichols, 29, was pulled over by Memphis police officers and beaten, pepper sprayed, and confronted uh, in a confrontation that sent Nichols to the hospital in critical condition. He died three days later due to blunt force trauma. His death and the video of the beating sparked outrage across the country with nonviolent protest vigils held in cities such as New York, Los Angeles, Springfield, Missouri. If convicted, the former officers, Mills to Darius Bean, Demetrius Hale, Emmett Martin, and Justin Smith could face life in prison. That's why he took that plea deal. He don't want to be in jail for the rest of his life. You know, and a lot of times they'll give a plea deal to get that one in the group to turn on the others. The case was eligible for the death penalty, but prosecutors opted not to seek it. According to U.S. Attorney David Pritchard, there is no parole in the federal system. Blake Ballin, Mills' attorney in both the federal and state cases, said Wednesday he could not comment on the change in plea aside from confirming that Mills is scheduled to enter a new one on Thursday. And that is today. So the terms of the plea agreement have not been released publicly and a hearing for the change in plea is scheduled for Thursday, which is today at 10 a.m. So uh, the judge overseeing the case Judge Mark Norris is also presiding over the federal civil case filed by the, uh, y'all know, Ben Crump on behalf of Nichols' family. All five of the criminally charged former officers are named as defendants in the case alongside the city of Memphis, Memphis Police Chief, Sherilyn C.J. Davis, two former officers who are not criminally charged. Y'all know which ones we're talking about. And three Memphis Fire Department personnel. So they're all named in the civil suit that the family filed. Y'all remember Preston Hemphill? He is still in the civil case that was filed by the family. That was the lone white officer that they did not charge. Okay. 
the five criminally charged officers had their aspects of the civil case placed on hold until um, the criminal case reached a deposition. Although Mill's federal case will likely reach an end on Thursday, his state case is ongoing and his future in the civil case remains unclear. The federal trial for five former officers is set for May of 20. 24. The civil case is slated to begin with arguments. Opening arguments will begin on January 2025. Wow, that's pretty far out. If a settlement is not reached before then, or if the case is not to be dismissed, the city and Davis currently have a motion to dismiss the pending case. The federal criminal case, so they said, um, though calm inside of the courtroom, has had a testy moment via court filings. In recent days, the Justice Department and defense attorneys for some of the former officers have sparred over access to Nichols' cell phone records and statements made by one attorney in a filing that the DOJ has categorized as an inappropriate smear of character. The DOJ, in response to the filing, has requested the statements like that not be allowed in publicly available court documents and that they be sealed arguing that the statements like that would not be admissible in court and could taint the jury poll. So it, it just goes over um, what happened to Tyree Nichols and the footage that, you know, was released to the public and the protests that went on. And it also talks about the rumor after the release of footage, how members of the Memphis police um, just beat this poor guy to death, a father, a skateboarder, and he the fact that he worked for FedEx. And we still haven't heard the name of this alleged woman that worked at FedEx with him. You know, I'm still waiting. It, it's been quite some time. Somebody should have been able to produce a name. I'm just amazed by that. So anyway, y'all, that is the latest update. So you got one that is going to change their not guilty plea to guilty. And this is only because he doesn't want to spend the possibility of being in jail for life with no chance of parole, because that is what these officers are looking at right now. And I'm sure that is not what they want. And plus, like I said, if, if one takes the plea deal, that one will turn on the others. You know, they're even doing that when it comes down to Breonna Taylor. They got Kelly Goodlett, who is spilling the beans to the feds about what really happened and how Breonna Taylor never had drugs. The whole thing was made up by an officer and it just spiraled out of control. Even the warrant, they got the warrant based on a lie. So you see the lengths these officers go to, you know, especially when they kill someone wrongfully. It, this is why nobody respects policing for real, you know? you're going to police the streets and while you're policing the streets, you're going to be a criminal too. It means that, you know, policing in America never had any integrity, but it's really coming out, especially in the times that we live in. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.